Muhammad, son of Abdullah, son of Abdul Muttalib, son of Hashim, son of Abdul Manaf, son of Qusay bin Kilab bin Murray bin Kaab bin Lu'ay bin Ghalib bin Fihr bin Malik bin An-Nadr bin Kinna bin Khuzayma bin Mudrika bin Ilyas bin Mudar bin Nizar bin Maath bin Adnan. 21 generations between Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Adnan and then 41 generations between Adnan to Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa sallam though this second part of the lineage from Adnan to Ibrahim alayhi salam is a matter of disagreement among the historians Ya Rajai Ya Rajai Ya Rajai Ya Rajai The family of Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam was called Banu Hashim, children of Hashim. Hashim, who was the great grandfather of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Muhammad bin Abdullah bin Abdul Muttalib bin Hashim. Hashim was a very important man in Mecca, as he held the responsibility for giving food and water to the pilgrims of Kaaba. He was a very wealthy person and he was known as honest and generous man. An important gift from Hashim bin Abdul Manaf to Quraysh was that he was the one who started the two journeys of summer and winter. These were two journeys that took place every year by the traders of Mecca and it was very crucial for their livelihood because these two journeys were the root of their trade. And even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this in the Quran Reminding the Quraysh of his favors in Mecca, Allah says in Quran, Li ilafihim shita saif, that means uh, that Allah secured the winter and the summer caravan for them. So, due to this reason, too, Banu Hashim held a good rank among the Quraysh. Hashim married Salma bin Amr in Yathrib and she gave birth to Abdul Muttalib. His father Hashim once went to Syria during trade. While returning, he stopped in Yathrib and there he married Salma. And while Salma was pregnant, he again left to Syria and he died there in present time Gaza of Palestine. So Hashim never returned back to Mecca for his family to know that he has a pregnant wife in Yathrib. So no one knows that. Salma gave birth to Abdul Muttalib in Yathrib and he had a white hair on his head so first she named him Shaiba which means white and later on he came to be known as Abdul Muttalib when Abdul Muttalib reached boyhood his paternal uncle Al Muttalib heard of him and how he came to know Allahu Alam but history tells us that Al Muttalib approached Salma and asked her to let her son come to Mecca with him and she refused but when Al-Muttalib said, your son is going to Mecca to restore his father's authority and to live in the vicinity of the sacred house, she agreed. She agreed because she knew what that means. It means her son will now be the one to take over the rank her husband left behind. That was to tend the pilgrims of Kaaba with food and water. So she agreed. Ma'ana nahju hayatin jinna tabsiratan an kulli dalal A'adadna bid'a risalatin taqmilu nooran lil ajyan Ma'ana nahju hayatin jinna tabsiratan an kulli dalal A'adadna bid'a risalatin